Hi there, it's Lori Levine with the Levine team serving the Greater Phoenix Real Estate Area. And here we are today looking at a 1,410 square foot single level home in Johnson Ranch, which is uh, probably the, mo the most popular subdivision in the Santan Valley area, which is uh, in the southeast corner of the Greater Phoenix Real Estate Area. Now we're just going to show you a look around at the neighborhood here. Down at the end of the block there, um, you can see there's a golf course, it's just over there actually pretty close to the clubhouse. It's a golf course community. There's also three recreational areas within within the subdivision that have pools and one of them has an exercise facility as well. Okay, so we're just going to go in and have a look. Three bedrooms plus a den and two bathrooms and a yard with a, with a smaller pool in it. Now here we have a porch out front. And we have low maintenance flooring inside here with a tile entry and then a decent quality laminate flooring that they've uh, put in the living room. But just to the immediate right, when you come through the front door, is the kitchen. And it's got a pass through to a little dining area on the other side of the wall. So here we have lots of uh, uh, counter space and cabinetry. It's pretty decent. It's the fridge that's included in the sale. That would be a pantry. Now this is also a little eating area in here too. Or it could just be a little sitting area or somewhere where you put a computer desk. But there's a couple of other spots uh, in the house that are suitable for that too. So here's where we see through into the, into the living room. And you can see that fixture that's been capped up there because they didn't use that as their dining area. They just used this as their living room. And then they used that small area behind me for, for dining, which is... It would be good for about four people, that's fine, but yeah, there's definitely room for a table here and then furniture um, in that corner. Be nice, nice sectional and perhaps a, a chair and then overlooking the entertainment center area that's kind of built in to that wall there. Now over on the other side of the floor plan, that is the den. So we're just going to go off and have a look here. So we've got... Uh, that would be the entry closet on my left. Yeah. Not that you need any coats here in Phoenix. And this would be a linen closet. Okay, and then either side of this den is bedrooms, smaller bedrooms. Yeah, room for a double sized bed. Um, you could perhaps get a queen in here. It would be a little tight for a nightstand. Okay, and double closet. We always get double closets minimum in all the bedrooms here because uh, there's no basement storage is at a premium so you're always going to see good closet space okay, and this is your standard 5 by 8 bathroom with a sink toilet and a tub and, sh and uh, shower and then here's the other bedroom it looks to be about the same size as the one I just came from so room for uh, a double or a queen size bed and a, and a nightstand Okay, and uh, laundry area is actually decent. It's recessed from the wall that goes into the, from the door that goes into the garage. Just going to have a look see in here. Let's see if we can find a light switch readily. Yeah, there we go. So this is just your standard double garage. Hot water tank in the corner. I know that it's gas because I can see the vents in the wall. Whenever we see uh, those vents, we know that there's a, a gas hot water tank. Okay, now the driveway is a little bit short, room for a smaller vehicle, uh, but there'd be room inside the garage, you know, to park. You know, one or two smaller vehicles, and uh, not a truck. Okay, now we're just going to go around the corner to the back of the floor plan. We'll go outside in a second, but here's the master bedroom. This room is larger. There's definitely room for a king-size bed and two nightstands along that wall. It's got corner windows. Uh, and then that goes off to the uh, master bathroom ensuite. And here is a generous size walk in closet. Uh, double hung on the right hand side, single hung here. I might be inclined to change some of that over and add about half of this space along the left side as more double hung. Okay, here we have a single sink. Often we see doubles, um, but you know, a 1400 square foot floor plan. Uh, Generally, you're not going to see that. So here we have a toilet and a soaker tub with a shower combination. And overlooks the yard. Just before I turn, I'm just going to make a turn back towards 
the front door and you can see the kitchen over on the other side of that wall there. Alright, now we're going to head out. There's a vaulted covered patio here. So that's nice and spacious and then much of the rest of the yard is um, decking surrounding the pool. So we've got some decking here that's room for a couple of comfy chairs. Uh, pool equipment in the corner. And now this is a smaller pool because it's not a huge yard but uh, it's good for splashing around in. It's actually got the in-ground pop-up cleaners instead of one of those long vacuum cleaner hose attachments that we most frequently see. So that looks pretty nice actually. I'm just going to take a walk up here. And over to this side and we'll just turn around and give you a view of the yard here. And of the rear elevation. So it's on a smaller lot, but it's a smaller house and it fits quite nicely. This pool looks very inviting. And there you have it, Laurie Levine of the Levine team, signing off from Johnson Ranch in Santan Valley in the southeast corner of Greater Phoenix Real Estate Area. Bye for now.